What is going on, NCK? That's sorry, it's Dean here, and welcome back to Knights of the Roundtable Podcast, episode 4, I think. Anyway, today I'm back again with... Oh, that's a lot of people. I'm back again with Bored to Death. Say hello. Wait. Good enough. <laughs> and we have, a, we have a newcomer today, which is Death Knight something or other. Five, 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 eight, yeah. Say hi, Dan. Hello. Yeah. Okay. So, hope you all have a wonderful day so far. And we, this is actually my first time playing GTA since the nightclub update. I don't know what's new and what's not, but I'm going to take it and now let's have the new stuff. Uh, uh, I, I'll tell you what's new. Yeah. It's a, a bunch of things. You can... What? You can own buildings now. Never before seen feature in GTA 5. You have the ability to purchase a property and do stuff with it. That is actually pretty new. Revolutionary. I heard you can also change the lights. That's new. Not, not really. I mean, you could, you can, I can do that right now with this facility. But like. But. You. Wait a minute. I'm pretty okay. sure you can purchase cars now, too. Damn. Oh, yeah? I heard I they're adding planes. Before. That's revolutionary. I, new, uh, new feature is, uh, is, uh, being able to work minimum wage jobs to pay for these uh, new extremities. Never before seen. Well, I would, I mean... You'd, you'd have to probably not work, you'd probably have to be above minimum wage to comfortably own everything. You know, have enough money to buy the stuff in-game and then not worry about finances on the side. <clears throat> that depends on your definition of minimum wage. I mean, it is different state by state, but also definition of comfortable. What's living comfortably? You know? And your definition of limping. <clears throat> well, I mean, in reality, yeah. you could just go word through word of that sentence and yeah, have specific definitions. Basically. Uh, there's, a, there's a feature never before been available in GTA 5 blimps. Just, just ignore the fact that you could get one from the story mode. Just, that, that's been there since launch. It's just, you've never before seen, you know? Yeah, but never before have you had the... Clearly not Rockstar. <laughs> oh. Bazinga. It's not what? Okay. Um. So. So. What? What are we talking about today, fellas? Well, since Dan is a newcomer to this, I figured, uh, oh, by the way, uh, Tic Tacs, this, this podcast is not supported by Tic Tacs, but if they ever want to support this podcast, they're more than welcome with open arms to sponsor this podcast. Anyway. Yes. Yes. Ms. Your Death Knight. You, of course, five, five, eight. You, you, you have first pick. Of topic for today. Oh. Me. Yes. You. Anything in the world you can so, talk about. Uh. Yeah. How about. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the Lakers game last night? Ill Lakers. Who likes them? It's all about Celtics, uh, man. Pe pe people in LA are Boston. <laughs> What's the topic? Miss Monsieur Death Knight five 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 eight. Well, what about yeah the Hobbit movies? Uh, what are oh. you guys' opinions on those? I've seen like one or two, maybe doubt two, and I'm not a fan. Why aren't you a fan? Let us explore thine opinion. Or I am kind of a fan of the Hobbit films, but not really. They have their flaws, but they also have some good stuff. I don't... It's not an issue with the story or anything. I'm just not into, like, 
medieval magic stuff. I take it you aren't a fan of the original Lord of the Rings trilogy either, though. What? What? There was an original? Right. Yeah. What do you mean yes. original? 2000 what? The Lord of the Rings. Lord trilogy. of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. Lord I... of the Rings, the two. The two towers. Two towers. And oh, I forgot the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings were connected. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, I wasn't Just, a, I'm you not know, a fan of Lord of the Rings. How they have. They shared two characters. Nah. Three characters. Four characters, even. But, you know. Isn't that okay. mashed potatoes looking golem guy in both? Yes. No. Wait. He's in the lobby? What? Wait, what? What? Yes. Oh yeah, he is in the Hobbit for a bit. I thought he was. Uh, he doesn't look like mashed potatoes. That's very cruel to Andy Serkis. Well, He's a beautiful I, I, man. I was eating mashed potatoes when I saw him for the first time, and I gagged, and it forever scarred me. So all I can think of whenever I think of him is disgusting mashed potatoes. Not that mashed potatoes are disgusting. Mashed potatoes and ketchup is like the best thing in the world. But like... Hold on. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Explain <laughs> this again. <laughs> mashed potatoes. I was eating mashed potatoes one one day. And ketchup. And ketchup. That's and... two conflicting flavors, dude. Now hold on. Oh, that? Oh, ketchup is awesome. Put ketchup on like everything or anything, whatever you need. Put it plain that's... pizza. Um, no. Any <laughs> meat, really? They already have. Uh, no, dude. Uh, no. You need to stop. Potato right chips. Now. Potato chips, dipping them in ketchup okay, is great. That, that, yeah. Wait. But, but, wait. Um, you Americans call... F fries and chips are two different things for you, aren't they? Correct. Yeah? Can we just... Wait. Are you saying you dip fucking crisps in ketchup? What are crisps? Those are potato chips. Yeah. Oh, then yeah. Why, dude? Because it's good, like, and I recommend you, it ha like, it's good, you know? It's just, like, it's get a bag so of plain good. old salted Lay's, get a nice old bowl of ketchup, and just dip, 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 no. oh, it's so good. No. Yes. It's already a salty flavor, you're just having two salty kind of tangy flavors at but the same good. time. salty flavors. Where did you put that on ketchup? It's like a, a, a nice, creamy, uh, uh, you, you, I mean, a, why would you put that on mashed potatoes, not ketchup? Why would you put ketchup on ketchup is not a, a valid question. But, uh, I've why would that. you put ketchup on mashed potatoes? Like, you, mashed potatoes are normally very creamy, very nice. Uh, but, and ketchup is like, sort of fucking, like, and what what's that flavor? I can't remember. It's like a bit Good. sour, I guess. Ketchup isn't sour. It's like it's definitely yeah, not it's sweet. Like a... Vinegar isn't a sweet thing. It's like there's a flavor for it, but I, I can't remember. Mustard, my boy. Yeah, Look. but if it... all right, I want to address another point. You don't put ketchup on like every meat. Like, no. Yeah. Ham, turkey, if you had chicken, a... um, beef. What? No, dude. Yes. You put ketchup on your steaks? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't like steak, but the few times no. I've had it, it has to be with ketchup. I don't even eat steak. I don't, I don't care for it. I, 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 I enjoy steak. I, I like a I don't like steak meat with meat. a bit of the old... I want to be some sort of vegan. I was a vegetarian for a few years, actually. Yeah, I I could never go without meat. There's so many great things you could do to cook meat. Uh, so many things, dude. It's in so much of my favorite foods. No, now you know what's good. Taking a PB and J, oh, you I I only like grape jelly, but taking PB and J and putting Lay's potato chips ketchup. inside the middle, that's good. Okay. Now, what? we have a word for that in Ireland. Uh, really? It's called a king sandwich. Huh. Except you don't put... You don't put peanut butter and jelly in there. You get plain 
white bread, and spread some butter. Labor will spread a butter on one of the pieces of bread. And you lay some potato chips, or as we call them, crisps, because they are crisp. Uh, you put them on the bread, and you combine the two slices of bread. Well, don't cut it down the middle. Yeah, nothing you... else. It I works on its own. Hmm. Now what about butter, potato sense. chips dipped in ketchup? Oh, we, we shoot you for that over here. <laughs> Some people say it's uncivilized, but I think it's just helping natural selection along. But, uh, no. Nah, right. if, if we're going back to uh, The Hobbit, it's definitely worse than Lord of the Rings. But, you know, that's a high bar to cross. I'm glad they didn't... They, they... Explained the backstory very well and gave us a good foundation for the previous movies. Yes, I really uh, like I do how believe they that yeah. developed Bilbo and even pulled the trolls in from the originals. Oh uh, yes, I, I do believe I, there was a, a very uh, clunky line though with uh, Legolas where he's like, "They don't. It's not subtle at all." It's just like, hey, remember the thing where it's like, you will meet the human ranger, Aragorn. Uh, Arag remember, Aragorn. And it's like, oh, oh okay. No, Thanks. It, I don't think he said Aragorn. He called him. No, uh, they, they name dropped him. I think Strider. they name dropped him. Or did they? The guy who played yeah, that, the elf? that's what Aragorn called himself. Um, yeah, that guy. was. That's, Orlando that's Will Turner from. Yeah, we'll yeah. turn. I thought so. Being back, I can yeah. match his face. Cool. Also, if we're gonna go, uh, keep it on the topic of movies, but having the only connection between these two is Orlando Bloom. Man, Pirates of the Caribbean really took a fucking bad. You know, it went bad. I actually really yeah. liked um, the newest one. I don't know. It's not. The one with the uh, not in the newest one. Depp is not in it at all. He's not feeling it. He's getting spoon fed his lines. It's not his it's just no man. I like it. Like the oh. original trilogy for Pirates of the Caribbean is like peak. Some people say that oh, you know Black Pearl was cursed the Black Pearl was the only good one. But I think that's bogus baloney. You know, I think that the good one is, and I think that the best one in the in the series is actually the second one. Dead Man's Chest is yeah. Dead Man's Chest is one of my favorites. I agree. But dude, the fucking CGI looks phenomenal in the uh, Pirates films. Like, I just like David Jones. <laughs> yeah, he's his his CGI looks so good. Like, you can't tell me it doesn't, because it does. Yeah. You can just... It looks like you could poke him. Poke you, it. you I, could I tell, don't know about that. You could tell exactly what texture. It, 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 it's, I don't know how to describe it, but you can... Yeah, it's like, you know what he would he would feel like if he was saying Yeah. That. If, if right. you like, reach out and, like, poke him in the face... You'd know exactly what every little fish element of that guy would feel like because it's just, oh, the CGI looks so was good. masterfully done. Yeah. Plus, I just really like the crew, Davy Jones crew, as a collective character. All of yeah. them are so unique and they all look so good. But you know, now they don't have those anymore, so I guess. Oh. I don't know. I like the newest one. The newest one felt like the Black Pearl to me. It was it was like a little bit of seriousness, and it had some moments of like reflection, but a lot of it was just comedy in a like realistic way, I don't know, or like sarcastically realistic. I liked it. I don't know. I feel like that just uh, Jack isn't the same. You know, he's not the, as the, the one with Blackbeard, uh, Strangers Tides. That was. That was, that uh, was bad. Disappointing. Yeah. 
Speaking bad. of Johnny Depp, have you seen his movie Black Mass? My brother, no, did I did. I, it's I amazing. I absolutely oh, I adore that movie. Yeah, he's on ever the, um, the ah, New England sorry. Gangster, right? What's his name? Uh, fuck Johnny Two Shoes. Oh. Yes, Johnny Two Shoes. No, um, oh, what was his name? The Bostonian gangster who was like well known, and then they caught him. Not very well known if you can't remember his name. No. And you hail from Boston. He, he's very well known. I just. Okay, first of all, I don't hail from Boston. I'm from the Boston area. But second of all, I just don't thing. care. But I know he's very well known. Um. I don't know. But that guy. Wasn't it uh, based on him? Hey, I found my uh, little mic squishy foam thing that goes over the part of the mic. Anyway. Um. I think it was based on him. I wouldn't know because I've never seen that movie. Correct. I, heard it was I should movie. see that movie. But, uh, uh, this, this thing that's happening, uh, oh, wait, I don't know what I'm fucking talking about, I am. Speaking of Johnny Depp, have you guys ever seen that one Johnny Depp movie where he's a lizard? What? Rango, oh, but it's Rango. That was a weird movie. That was advertised as a kid's I movie, love but that, that was not a kid's movie. movie. I saw that movie, that no. was funny. That was a good movie. It was good, it just, yeah. it was weird. It was like... Weird. Yeah, I loved it, dude. I thought it was a I great liked, movie. I liked that movie. <laughs> that was a funny movie. Beans. Yeah. I don't know. It was just kind of odd to me. We're slowly turning this podcast into a movie review channel, so uh, it's I I I have no objections to this. Hey, let's keep it, it rolling. Seems like a great idea. Speaking of movies, as for now officially movie reviewers, I have seen one movie this year, so that's good. Yeah, only well, one movie I saw was trash, so we'll let you go first because you're probably going to be more optimistic about it. <laughs> I saw Deadpool 2. That was it. That's all I've seen this year in theaters. I'm not even, I'm not I loved it. Either. One of my favorite movies in recent years. It was so good. I heard it, I heard it was just pretty much bashing on X-Men and uh, using old jokes. I, I, he ripped on Logan a lot, like the movie Logan. He did, but it wasn't, like, none of it felt forced is a thing. It, it worked. Yeah. I didn't, I don't remember if they reused old jokes. They had Dope Ender in it again. It was great. And I, I liked it. What, the story how did he rip on was... Logan? I haven't seen it. I never saw uh, it. He's I heard like... it. I heard it's depressing. He's like, like, there's nothing redeeming about it. Oh, yeah, it. it's, it's, just... it's, it's super wow. depressing. It's just an ending of, to the Wolverine character as played by Hugh Jackman. And it's yeah. a really well-done one. <laughs> oh. But, uh, it's like... He wow. rips on Logan about being mad that he'll never be able to collab with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. And shit like that. I but think he did it's pretty at the good. end. <laughs> oh yeah, he did. Because oh, that's sort of a kind of spoiler. Except it's like. Except not. Um, and that that whole scene is very fucking confusing. But anyway. It's beautiful. The one scene, or scene, the one film I've seen this year in theaters was the Jurassic World sequel, and. Oh boy, it was hot garbage. I heard mixed reviews. Peace. I heard it was alright, I heard it was awful, no. I heard it was, like, not any worse than the first one. Not any better, though. It's fucking horrible. It is the worst Jurassic Park movie. It's worse than Jurassic Park 3. It's worse than, and than The Lost World. It is easily the lowest the series has ever done. Ever been. It's not deserving of any praise at all. It's lazy. It's recycled, rehashed garbage. With just twists are so fucking bad. They're so underdeveloped. They're just in the spur of the moment. Like, deadass, when I heard the movie's big twist, 
I was... I half expected it to be like... The villain was just pulling something out of his ass to be as like a distraction so he could run away while they're all like... Wait, how the fuck would that work? And I thought, that's pretty funny. But then uh, they were playing it serious and I was like, oh god. But no, dude. Never waste your money seeing that new Jurassic Park movie. It is the worst thing I've seen all year. But then again, it's the only thing I've seen all year, so I guess, you know. <laughs> there you go. So it was also technically the best thing you've seen all year. No. Oh. I saw Deadpool 2 as well. Oh. Oh, I forgot about Infinity War. But not War. in theaters. Oh. I forgot about Infinity War. Oh. Oh, wait, yeah, I saw that too. I did not so, like that no, movie. it's definitely the worst thing I've ever What? I did not like Infinity War. Wait. Why? We were, Listen. We were theory crafting about it like for half last episode. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I liked it. Just means I had a theory. That one day, my children will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their theatrical releases. Yeah. Okay. Well, is, secretly, that's about Thanos and his purple skin. Yes. Yeah. You predicted the MCU. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. predicted the MCU plot twist of 2018. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, that, that's not a dodged question here. Why don't you like Infinity War all that much? Really? I don't know, it just... <sighs> if you want to make... First of all, Marvel's known for having pretty lighthearted movies. Every now and again, it gets serious, and the overall message of the movie can be pretty dark, but it's still usually pretty lighthearted. Even Age of Ultron was pretty lighthearted, which I recently rewatched, and it's actually a good movie. It wasn't the best, but rewatching it now, it's not the worst. But, um, like, for what they're known for and everything else, I just felt like the, like, like, you go to oh, the movies, geez. especially something like You're that. You're saying it's because it's a tonal shift? No. I'm saying it... Oh. Hold on. I, personally, do not like depression. I do not like it when a movie goes 100% negative. I like bittersweet. We have the sweet but, part in our world, knowing that, of course, they're going to bring people... Spoiler! They're gonna bring people back, and not everyone that they killed off is gonna be dead because they're making extra movies for all the characters. Whatever. Except Gamora and Loki, but you know. The what I'm saying is the characters have no hope. There's no, there's no nothing. It's just flat out depression incarnate. It's sad. There's no sweetness. It's bitter. You leave the movie feeling bitter. I don't like that. It's not. It's not that hard. I'm sure, especially for them, to write in a little. Oh, but here's, like, don't fret, because, like, if they wanted but, to, even if they <laughs> flat out shot all the characters they killed off in the head and their bodies fall, they could still throw in, but at least they stopped him. It, uh, just saying, for example, there are always ways to throw in bittersweet. When you just have flat out that sad, sad, and the only thing to bring you up is the thought, oh, but there was this one throw-off line that Doctor Strange said very it's ominously to Iron Man without any back anything. You just have to figure it out for yourself. And you're sitting there like, what? Why? Like, they, they couldn't spend an extra five minutes, like, a little thing. And fine, fine. You have Captain Marvel at the end. But I didn't... People like me, I had to have that explained by my brother. I, I've never heard of Captain Marvel before. I didn't know her symbol. I didn't know what that was. And if I have to go do research on my own time... Call me lazy, but that's not why I consider sweet. That's just annoying. If I have to, like, if if that was not researching my own time is annoying, it's more like I have to go out of my way to find out why I should be not totally depressed. And you can make the argument, well, you're not, just, you're just not that big of a Marvel fan. Not everyone who saw Infinity War was that big of a Marvel fan. There are people out there who are just movie moviegoers, and they heard it might be a good movie, so they go and see it. They're not gonna know what that symbol is at the end. Not everyone's a die-hard, like, Marvel fan. Like, I'm a die-hard Star Wars fan. So, I don't know. It's a good movie. I just don't like the fact that there's zero anything in it. It's just sad and bleak and depressing, and I don't like that. I heard that's how a lot of movies in the UK are. I could never live in there. I could never do that. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, that's, it's not my type well, of movie. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. 
I'm saying I wasn't a fan personally. In my, in my eyes, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, I forgot to talk about personally because apparently we need that explanation. But in my personal opinion, I think the fact that they're like, if people are saying, "Oh, Marvel's a kids movie," or oh, Marvel's for kids for little babies, I think it's fucking amazing that they, like, they end the movie on such a low note. It's like, yeah, it's very, it's like, it's, it's like there's, they're saying, screw you, we can be adults, and we can be adult well, you know, that's, this is some heavy shit, and we treat it as such. I think that's great. You know, I think it's amazing that they're taking it in this direction. Right, like, I'll, especially I'll when that, you yeah. consider that this movie is coming off the heels of one of my favorite fucking movies, Thor Ragnarok. That movie was hilarious, dude. Nothing was great. Like, if you... Dude, it was such a hilarious film. Well-directed, well-written, well-acted. Like it's got everything... Too. Yeah, because Chris Hemsworth is funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like... To quote the film, there's, there's like, there, oh, one of my favorite bits in that movie is like, some time we were eight, I was, I really liked snakes. So, Loki decided he's gonna transform into a snake. So, I go to pick him up, and like, play it's me, and he stabs it. And it's like, this is one of my fucking favorite jokes of the entire thing, and I completely butchered the delivery, but it's, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was improv or something. I had read somewhere, but like, oh my I'd imagine. God. And then, like, in the, the in beginning of Infinity War, like, the ship Thor has set up with Asgard in the end is destroyed. I did like that. It picked up right where Ragnarok left off. I did like that. It's, fucking, it's amazing. It's such, it's like, hey, look at how... F it's like uh, this kid's movie. It's this hilarious movie. It's not a kid's movie. It's just very funny. Very lightheaded. And then it's... That is now dead. Desolate. And it's great. I, th I think that's an uh, amazing tunnel shift. I think it's great that Marvel can do that and do that well. See, you know, they can, can do agree. whatever the hell they want. I can agree. And they'll be probably be able to do it well. I can agree with the fact that it is impressive that they did that and they took such a risk going so dark. But I still. And they did it well. The, and they, they did it well. It. But it just. I just. Personally, I don't like the fact that it was like zero hope in the end. Like, I, the best way I can put it is compared to Rogue One. Rogue One, spoiler alert, if I still have to say that even, every character dies, it's depressing, it's dark, and there's really no redeeming qualities except for the end, where even if you hadn't seen Episode 4, you would know, hey, maybe something can be brought out of this that's good. They completed their mission. Sure, everyone died. Sure, no one escaped. But, uh, but they did what they set out to do. That's bittersweet. Personally, I, I can appreciate... Not and you're right, I do think it's very impressive that Marvel went out and did that, especially when most people probably expected it to be some lighthearted movie. That is impressive. But the, I just the, the don't like is, the fact with, that it was... Infinity nothing. War, you couldn't do that. You can't do that. I'm and sure you, there's Infinity a way. War never ends. say never. There is a way they could have done no, it, especially with the no team of writers no way you could have done that without it being a cop-out. There is no way. You have to deal with this event the extinction of half the universe. You can't just say, Oh, well, but at least there's this. Half of all life in the fucking... In anything is dead. It's gonna be somber. It's gonna be dark. It's, there it's is a way, though, I'm sure, hopeless. that they can bring some... At least X happened. There is a way. It'll be it. a cop-out. It'll be a cop-out, cop and it would have probably spoiled the experience for many people. A I lot more just so than just having personally. it be flat out depressing. But no. But uh, in Rogue One, there's an interesting little plot hole that happens. Where uh, in episode 4, Leia says she was uh, sub she was going to Alderaan. But she was just, you know... She was just casually watching this battle on Beach Planet while going to Alderaan. Yeah, why not? Question mark. It's 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 sort of a plot hole, but what you about, know. What about you, 
Death Knight Dan. What did you think of Infinity War? Dan Knight. I quite liked it. However, <laughs> the comics shall forever be better. But mm. that remains to be. As someone who does not read comics, I have no opinion. I remember uh, like, I came back from seeing Infinity War. Or at least it was a couple weeks afterwards, but uh, me and Dan were talking, and he was like, dude, that beginning scene was bullshit. The Hulk, like, Thanos is afraid of the Hulk in the comics. He was just talking about that, and I was like, yeah, I could see that. Yeah, because Hulk, okay, at that time. Yes, he had only Thanos one stuff. only possessed the space gem or power gem. I believe it might have been power. Power. Yeah, let's go with power. So, he's possessing the power gem. Mm hmm So, the Hulk has the ability to just keep getting more angry and more strong. And Thanos yes. just put him down in like four seconds. It's yes. stupid, and then they didn't want to bring out the Hulk the whole movie for whatever god-awful fucking reason. When, it was because honestly, the Hulk was scared of Thanos. Which is, it, know, according to what you said, bullshit. is the exact opposite of what should be happening. Yes, that is the exact opposite of what fucking happens. Thanos will not go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk at any time during the comics because he knows Hulk has the ability to go full world breaker and destroy his ass there's yeah. no way that that scene should have ever happened and honestly it left a bad fucking taste in my mouth the whole fucking movie because you you can't just take out such a big character so fast and just not bring him in at all no nah, no nah, the hulk's gonna say no, I'm backing down from a challenge. What the fuck do you mean? The Hulk doesn't back down from anything. The Hulk charges in, nuts out, ready to fuck up <laughs> anything he wants. But no. Well, whoever the fuck's smoking some crazy ass weed at Marvel decides, let's make Hulk a bitch for two and a half hours. <laughs> you know, you know who made that decision to budget, dude? He couldn't afford to model a Hulk more than once. Oh yes, they could. They made billions off that movie. I, I'm pretty sure they made a single billion. You know yeah, what? Which is still. Or something. It is fun. It was pretty uh, amusing to see Bruce Banner pilot the Hulkbuster Iron Man suit. I thought that was pretty amusing. Yeah, there was actually this post that called. Uh, either Pepper or Banner being in the Hulkbuster suit right before the movie came out. Wow. Oh yeah. Like was after the because... trailer, somebody called it. It probably it was probably because Iron Man was in Titan, and people connected the fact that Iron Iron Man was in Titan, and so he couldn't really fit in the suit. But I don't know. And again, there's probably going to be like, when you really think about it, there's probably a post. That, like, not a post that predicts everything, but if you could, if you could probably grab a bunch of posts that predict the entire plot, because, you know, it's just probability dictates that so many people talking about the movie, at least a couple together, are bound to get it right, you know? The yeah. plot and all those details, but, you know, takes the magic out of it, doesn't it? Anyway, what 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 now? Are we gonna? Anyone else have any uh, opinions on Infinity War that they'd like to talk about right now? Or no? Not really. Other than Iron Man's best Avenger. I I prefer I prefer Korg. Korg is best Avenger in my eyes. Korg. Did, you, oh, he's dead, you, boy. He's not Korg. dead. He's dead. He, he's not dead. I yeah, refuse to believe that. First Korg of all, he's not an dead. Avenger. Second of all, that boy was most likely dead. You got a 50 50 shot. Yeah, well, there's all. I'm equally as right as you are then. 
So oh. you can't say he's most likely dead. You got a 50-50 chance. Uh, I think Thanos got to Dan. Yeah, Thanos <laughs> just fucking altered me. He, he used his ultimate shapeshift <laughs> to uh, get rid of Dan. As one do. <laughs> NCK, I don't feel so good. Fucking so alright. Hang on, let me do some magic. Oh, anyway. oh it's magic. Moving on. <sighs> I'm hearing uh, more and more news about the old uh, 76, Soldier 76, the latest game by Bethesda. Soldier 76. Oh, I haven't really been uh, uh, keeping up with the news. Apparently, is any. Alright, I, I might have to explain a bunch of shit, but. Everyone here familiar with the concept of cryptids? You might not know the word, but I'm sure you fucking know what they are. Uh, cryptid is like. Creature. It's like, it's like the uh, monster, but you don't know. There's no scientific proof it exists. It's like an unfound, undiscovered species of animal, is what they call cryptids. And, but cryptids are like shit, like Bigfoot and the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, okay. That's the technical term for a cryptid. But oh. apparently, in Fallout 76, they're bringing in a bunch of cryptids and folk tales from the West Virginia area and implementing them into the game as enemies. And I've seen this from a YouTube channel who I can't quite name at the moment. But he's talking about, uh... There are these enemies. These, there's gonna be, like... The Mothman was in the trailer for fucking Fallout 76. You know it was him, if you know the story about the Mothman. But he's, what he was, was he was like a, a bad omen sort of deal in, uh, in West Virginia in like the 60s. That was a giant owl looking person. But, uh, he's gonna be in the game. Cool. So, it's pretty neat. It is pretty neat. And if you... If you go back and watch the trailers, you can definitely see the Mothman uh, with his glowing yellow eyes in the uh, background. Well, not in the background, he's a fucking focal point. But still, they have a bunch of them, dude. I'd recommend you uh, look into it if you got the time. Uh, very, very intriguing, you know? Uh, in general, I'm sort of hyped Fallout 76, but I also know I'll never be able to afford it until it's well dead, so... Uh, yay! I'll just I'm, watch uh, a bunch of people play it. I'm excited for 76. I'm, I'm definitely gonna... If I can, I'm definitely gonna do some uh, videos on it. But... I'm excited. It, it looks awesome. I've, <laughs> I, 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 I am looking forward to it. I hope, no, I, what, uh, one thing I am a bit disappointed about is the fact that they aren't fucking updating the engine. Like, for God's sake, the creation emblem, creation engine or whatever the fuck it's called is just so outdated. I, I kind of dislike the way that it's just, it's clearly Fallout 4, but you know, yeah. in West Virginia. Take no updated home. textures. Yeah, I'll agree. No, no nothing. They just... Use the exact same tools... And all that garbage, you know, I don't like it. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth, but I hope that the, uh, they improve gameplay. They improve the UI, and they improve all the, uh... Points of tension in the in, the, in Fallout 4. And as long as they keep Kate, 
As long as they keep it, or, you know, you can find your fucking cursor or whatever, I'll be happy. Because Kate was the best character in Fallout 4. Don't even at me. Piper sucks. Okay. She's annoying. You do you. No, I've, 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 what's your defense in Piper? She's an, she's so annoying. I like her. That's my defense. But, but she's annoying, dude. She just... Not to me. Alright, here's a question. Upon hearing that someone's child has been kidnapped, whose initial reaction is... Oh, boy, I can, I can make a story out of this. Oh, man. What a hot scoop. Fucking... Someone doing their he job? Said, you know, you know, what, co what comes first? The safety of a fucking child or, you know... Oh, I want to get my paycheck. Why not do the paycheck and then help the child? Because the child will be dead. That's a risk the that the news up. stations sometimes are willing to take. Yeah, well, news stations suck. CNN no one's arguing suck. That. Fox News suck. The only good news station is... The... Wait, no, the BBC sucks too. Uh... There is no... RT. No. RTE, yes. No, no. There is no Irish, legitimate Irish, news station that's unbiased. No Irish news is. stations are good news stations. They're very close to being unbiased. There, there's, am I... Probably because the Irish don't care about anything, so they're always in the center of stuff. Um. Plus, you, how the fuck would you know if RTE news is biased or not? You've don't, never don't watched it. Don't question it. Don't, don't question it. But... Look, you've Fall never 76, watched a single broadcast. Fall 76 seems awesome. I pre-ordered the Power Armor Edition. I managed to get a, a hands-on one. It, it's, I, I'm excited. It, it looks really good. Then, ever silent. Then, what is your opinion on Fallout number 76, set in West Virginia, the state where the two of you currently reside at the moment? Is is Yes, you, this little do it. Little does everyone know this is actually being recorded in a sound studio in West Virginia. That's some behind-the-scenes tidbit. I'm very I, tired. I, I, no. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, anyway, Dan, what's your opinion on Fallout as a series in general? Fallout oh, seventy-six. Yep. Uh, I feel like it's gonna turn into Elder Scrolls Online, times two. Dead ass. I don't know what Elder Scrolls Online did. What a launch that had. I, I don't. I, don't... Launch. I never played ESO. I never really liked Elder Scrolls to begin with. I don't. Elder trust Scrolls Online was multiplayer very, uh... or Bethesda at all. You did. I I kind of just wish they like just update the engine for fuck's sake. You know it's so old. It's so it's like it. Oh, it looks okay, but then you you know you're in the game. You're not in a fucking bird's eye view. You're not in these panning shots. You're actually experiencing it, and it looks you know, like Fallout 4 sometimes just straight up looks trash. I think one of the biggest things holding back future installments is that engine. It's yeah. like problems that are in Skyrim or in Fallout 4, and they're probably going to be in fucking Fallout 76. It's outdated, and it's holding back the Bethesda at large. And if they dumb down the fucking dialogue system like they did in Fallout 4, I'm going to be sad. If they keep that change after all the backlash... It's Do you gonna think there'll be, be any dialogue in Fall 76? Yeah, you, you get quests. <laughs> yeah, quests given to you by robots. Yeah, well, there's probably people too. And no, it's gonna be the only NPCs player. are gonna, gonna be, be live people. Well, the only no, human there's... NPCs. That's, then, then that's not so an NPC, not... that's a so, friend. <laughs> so there are no human NPCs then. Yeah, but they said it's gonna be you're gonna be able to do it in single player, which probably means there's gonna be NPCs. No, 
You can't do it in single player. Yeah. They fucking said that you can. No, they said you can There's play like... solo online. Yeah. Which means without friends. They clarified That's themselves a... later. Oh, well then, fuck. That sounds like a real nice way of saving money. Agreed. Fucking doubt that there's not going to be any. Uh, they said that player, down the road like, there will be private like, servers, but like, it's still online. There probably will be, and there won't be any human NPCs. I uh, I don't know how I feel about that. No, I like. The characters in Fallout 4. I like them, except for Preston Gravy. He can die in all. Look, all I, I know hate is him and his stupid face. Mr. House is the best Fallout character ever. What? Mr. House. And what about Mr. New Vegas? No, the house always wins. Then is Mr. Vegas is voiced by Mr. Las Vegas? No. Yes. No. Can't deny. Mr. Mr. House is better. Is he? Yes. Is he really? Are you sure that deep down in your soul you believe that Mr. House is better than Mr. New Vegas? Yes. Oh, okay then. Another thing. Uh, Skyrim and Fallout. The, the, one of the biggest things with them is modding, but how will you mod uh, online experience? What's gonna happen there? You private know? servers, they said. That's where the private servers came in during the interview. Oh. Yeah. But will it will it blend? What? What about UI mods like Payday? Do you think they'll have those? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know how modding works. Well, I mean, you can have UI mods that don't affect anything. They're client side. Yeah, client side mods. That's a question and a half. How will those work on Fallout number twelve? Wow. I mean. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You know, it's, we just have to see, you know, what happens. We just have to see. Speaking of which, uh, uh wait, uh, edit, what? If, what? No? Wait, okay. Let me, let me back up a bit. With every other game it was or talked about, or every, what, what other games are fucking coming out, man? Like, I can't think of anything Black else besides four. Fallout 76. Oh god, I'd rather, yeah. Oh good lord, Black Ops 4, man. What a game. What a game that's looking to turn out to be. I am mad at Treyarch, because I spent a good few months building a crackpot theory about Call of Duty Zombies and how they're going to continue the storyline and what's going to happen in Blood of the Dead. And all this stuff, and all the character stuff, and why this, and why that, and they go around, and I tell some people I know who are also zombie enthusiasts, and I get called by two people crazy, and that would never happen, and everything I said, from the portal, to Brutus destroying the portal, to the Cronorium, to the flipping, seeing the blood transfusion, everything gets flipping confirmed that I was theorizing about in the trailer and then I felt obligated to get it and then the next day after that they announced a mystery box edition and I folded and I bought I ended up pre-ordering mystery box edition oh well, that's that sounds like you you're entirely your fault it's my you shouldn't no I'm mad because they didn't have to go and do exactly what I theorized oh they did no Why are you mad? They're proving you right. Because I don't want to be right. 
Black Ops 4 is nothing but a big scam with horrible business practices that's run by greedy Activision and the little mittens, and they're slowly becoming and worse, don't. if not just as and bad don't. as EA. Don't buy it. And I'm over here buying it because if you all get to, because not only was I right, my dear, but then they're just fucking the stupid sucks. three order edition looks awesome. Like... They know how to get me. They're that's a sellout. Entirely your fault, dude. But they didn't have to go and be good. What do you mean? I mean, it's they didn't have to you go think it's good. and make a good story. They could have done what I wanted them to, which was make a Why horrible do you story and call it to slowly die out. But no, they had to be cool, story. dumb flipping Treyarch and their zombies team, and flipping Jason Blundell was the band of my life. I'm looking at you, Blundell. Stupid. Why do you have to part Why do you feel the need to participate in this story then? Because I've been a fan of zombies since flipping the be before Black Ops 1. Birth. And I, I, uh. I've, I've watched the characters and story and I've spent hours, literally, literally, literally hundreds of hours thinking and talking and researching about the zombie storyline. And then when it comes to a penultimum with the flipping premise crew, it yeah. turns around and oh, hey, you know what you're talking about. I got mad that I know what I'm talking about. Am I salty? Why? Yes. Am I completely pushing blame? Absolutely. But I don't want to accept blame for this. So I'm going to push it on Treyarch. And that is a me problem. And is it my? Is it right for me to do that? No. But do I care? No. Because that's not right. They should be doing a bad job because Call of Duty is nowadays bad. So I uh, think I made my point. What you're upset is that they're actually going in the right direction. Yes. <laughs> My, my my complaint is that the zombie crew, at the very least, is going the right direction. Oh my god. My f I'm mad that they're doing well. Exactly, I am. Because I also don't want to support a game that says, Hey, you know all those people who spent literally hours and days playing our campaigns and playing our stories and going through literally. each and every one no matter what? Yeah, no, we're not going to pay any attention to you. And then we're also going to say not enough Audience people play it, even though you spent days on that doing it. And then I go over uh, and I start supporting it. Stupid. Take a shot every time he says literally. There like, you go. literally, it is the worst thing in the world. Like, oh my god, I can't even believe it. Literally. <laughs> call how back Valley, to how Valley here. Girl can you, you be? That's as Valley Girls I can get. Anyone else want to take a shot? It, no. Uh, Valley Girl? Badass, that's me. He is here. No. No, the, Valley Girl the best is like, you, like literally the best that guy over in there the is business. so bad. Like that voice and the way of talking. The best YouTuber in the business is your boy, Leffy is here. He's, He's dead alive. though, so uh, no. He stopped uploading videos in December, dude. I thought so. He is dead. Like he's capital D deceased. All right, Lima. He will be missed. Leafster will be missed. Anyway, so uh, you're so you you you're upset that the game is gonna is is good. Okay, good. Yes. Now that that's established. Now that we've established well, the, 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 the general zombies gonna be good. General consensus Fallout 76. What else is there to talk about? What else was shown at E3? For Honor was getting an update, and that's looking cool. Right. For all like the 7,000 people that play For Honor. Also, Jacob, since you own an Xbox, did you know you could get For Honor for free this month? I already have For Honor for Xbox. Like I said, I played it during and a month after the beta. Well, then. You should uh, port it on to PS4. Uh, I don't know about that. Good idea. Yeah. Do some Hacker Man stuff and port it. And, Look, you, know... you and Danielle over here got wicked tilted earlier at For Honor. So I don't know if I want to play with you guys while y'all are yelling at the game. I'm over here not... like, ha, I died. I don't know about that. And it's because you, when you die, it's bullshit. Because all they did was spam one attack. 
Like, imagine you're playing Mortal Kombat. Oh, you probably don't play that. I don't. I don't play Christian. fighting games. Oh, uh, I'm... Oh, okay. Uh, imagine you're playing COD, and they, they just keep shooting you in the fucking face every time you spawn with, like, a dragon of... That's what happens in For Honor, pretty much. So why would I yes. buy it and play just hear you guys yell at the screen? Oh, uh, because... Because it's fun. Yeah, it's fun, except for when it isn't. Oh my yeah. god. Exactly. It's, that's how most games are, Jacob. It's Wrong. fun, except when it's... I don't get mad okay. at multiplayer. I need to make that clear. I don't get mad when I'm playing multiplayer games. I get mad when I'm playing a single player game and I can't get past well, an I NPC mean, if... and then I have to replay the entire game just to get past that one point. Looking at you, For Honor. What? I played the campaign on Realistic what? on Xbox and I had kept trying to do the last mission over and over and over and then I realized I needed three poison traps and not two, so I had to redo the entire, like, section of that mission. Uh, that sounds like something that you have complete control over. No, I just didn't realize it. I had to look it up and realize it. But what my point is, I got mad at that, but I don't get mad at multiplayer games. So I want to buy a multiplayer game and hear you guys screaming. And make me feel like, uh, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to get you more mad. Oh, it's... Alright, you want to know the situation with For Honor? No. There is literally an attack that you can't react to fast enough on console. There is an attack where you need... On a 60 frame per second system, you need 400 milliseconds of reaction time to be able to block that attack. Uh huh. But you can't get that on PS4. You physically fucking can't react to it in time on PlayStation because frame rate limits on the base console. So it's bullshit. It's by definition, unfair. And you run into that character, like, every single damn day in, mm. like, 2v2s. It isn't fair. Right. It's... garbage, and that's what gets you mad. It's because they spam lights, and you can't counter it in time. Alright. So, well, that's what it is. On that note, I think we should end the podcast here. It's been roughly an hour. Oh, how's it going? Okay. Um, Glad. Yeah. Yes. So thank you, Bored and Death, for joining today. Appreciate it, as always. This will be uploaded hey, yep. Friday. So, this is Tuesday right now, so three days soon. Probably. Don't quote us on that. Don't, don't quote, yeah. Don't, don't quote us on that. Probably be uploaded Friday. Maybe Saturday, but most likely Friday. And, uh... Probably. Yeah, you guys got anything else to add? Ms. Your death and... Uh... Uh, no. There is, there is no news. Okay. No. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, share, please make sure to hit that like button. Show your support, getting more, making more videos just like this one. In the link in the description, self-plugging shamelessly uh, because I'm a low-life scumbag. Uh, there is a link to my new. I'm currently working on a book and I'm updating it as time goes on. And uh, it's probably gonna be like one chapter a week or something. But I'm already seven chapters in. If you wanna when read he says a book, manga, anime-inspired book, book means online for free, fiction. go ahead and click the description down there. Fiction. It's on Wattpad, so just check it out. You don't it's need to though. It's not a book. It's fine. It's, this, it's this a light is novel. A fan That's right. It's an online light novel. It's a fan fiction. It's not a fan it fiction. Is... This is original work. Don't you, boy? I will put you in the ground. And I'll have Death Knight eat you. So, if you guys want to read that, go ahead. Dude, in denial. Go ahead. Uh, you don't have to, though. Um, and no, you if you have 
you guys ever have any suggestions oh, for like what videos you want to see or anything go ahead and leave them in the comments if you have any thoughts oh, on I what mean, we talked I, about today I know, I know you would Dan but you I, I don't want you to that's the thing <laughs> leave your thoughts yeah, in the comments uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video again if you enjoy hit that like button show support gets me more and more videos just like this one thank you guys so much for watching the video hope you have a fantastic day it's always remember keep on crusading guys take care and goodbye Whoa, we did it.